Hey, hey everybody, what's going on? Serial Love Jab here, and today I'm playing Radical Heights. So Radical Heights is the latest 80s themed video game that uh, has that battle royale thing going for it. So how do you play this game? How does it work? I'm going to tell you all that in this video. Just stay tuned. First off, you drop in. So you just drop in wherever you want. There's no parachuting or anything like that. Try to drop near something that you can pick up. So what you want to do when you start is... Well, there's a few basic things, right? First off, you get money. You use that money to buy guns or armor or anything like that. And then, um, well, that's sort of how you progress in the game. So what you're going to want to do is punch this stuff. And that's how you get your money. You punch anything that has a dollar sign over it, anything that looks like it's punchable, and you'll get money from it. If you want a little bit of a quicker way to do it, you can go to one of these prize boxes, hit E to open it, and then... You just might be able to find a gun or something cool. You're also going to find cash. Cash is something you can take with you from game to game. So if you get cash, you don't need to spend it all in the same game. You're going to lose some of it when you die, but you're going to take some of it with you. And then you can use an ATM to distribute that cash to yourself before game. Cool, right? Because if you're good, you can take a little bit of an extra advantage with you into the next game. So what does this mean? What are, what are these? What does this sort of grayed out area means? That is the cloud. You can see up in the upper right hand corner you've got a map anything red on that map is an area that you don't want to go to and what does that mean like why don't you want to go to it well it's simple because you're gonna kill you're gonna die that's the storm basically instead of the storm being in a circle it is uh well it's just in squares so if you're wondering how to aim you can double click to aim like this this is more of a first person mode you can just click once and this would be a right hand click or yeah right click to aim like this. So two clicks, you aim like this. One click, you aim like this. One click and a hold, sorry. One big click, just, all right, <laughs> let me restart. If you click once, you get this sort of first person mode. If you click if you, and hold, then you get this mode. So third person. Anyways, let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's see if we can lose some more cash so we can buy gear. For those of you wondering, this is where you buy gear. This is where you access your accounts. You can withdraw or deposit money. We're going to go ahead and just deposit a bit. And here is where you can get more gear capacity. Gear capacity would be how much stuff you can carry. Notice the cool old school cars here. So let's uh, let's keep looking. You can see we've got a player over here. If you can kill a player, you get their stuff. So let's see if we can't go ahead and do that. I don't know how he got up there, though. Oh, and we're getting shot. But we killed him, so we get all of his stuff. Look at that, look at that. And we get some money, let's pick it up real quick and keep it going because I really don't want to die. Oh boy. Let's take some cover here. He's definitely laying it down on me, laying some fire down on me. And I think that was him, right? So let's, uh, let's get out of here. I'm doing this all live, by the way. That's why I shut up and play when uh, things get tough. So yeah, it's, it's not too hard of a game. The aim's a lot easier than Fortnite, in my opinion. It's a lot less random. You, your gun goes where you want it to go. So if you aim somewhere, just expect your gun to end up there. The graphics are fairly simple, so it's easy to see these are bright colored characters running around. Um, there is a bit of lag, though, as you guys can see. Let's uh, Let's go ahead and use this. Just to see what that does. I've never used one of those before. So it just blows up. Okay. That was a bit of a waste. But you can see you throw it pretty far. Another cool thing that you've got to remember is no falling damage. It might look like you're going to get falling damage, but you won't. Oh, and he killed me. So that is that, folks. That is how you play Radical Heights. Best of luck to all you guys going for that number one spot. If you need some help, if you've got some questions, feel free to ask them down below. Message me on Twitter. Again, I'm Serial Overdrive there. Steam, Serial Overdrive on Steam. Or on Twitch, I'm Serial Overdrive on Twitch. Best way to do it, though, is YouTube, honestly. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked that video. I hope you guys get that number one spot before me. And if I play you, I hope I kill you. So thank you for watching. And until next time. Have fun, keep gaming, and uh, just do what you like. This game's free, so everyone should just give it a shot. It grows on you. Anyways, peace.